Creative Crambo back with another one. Energy prices in the UK are sky high at the moment. They've absolutely gone through the roof. Now normally in the winter time um, you can't get your clothes out on the line and um, so you've got to use your tumble dryer. What I've thought of is uh, exchanging the tumble dryer, do a swap from the tumble dryer for this portable heated clothes area with wings. It's 230 watts, it's got 20 heated bars and it falls flat for easy storage. Maximum of uh, 15 kilogram load, that's quite a lot. Comes with a fitted plug. But the most important thing at all is that it costs less than seven pence per hour to run. That is gonna be a big saving. I'm definitely gonna give it a go. Our tumble dryer is forever on in the winter times and stuff like that. This is gonna be a very big saving on the energy bills. Like I said, they're sky high at the moment. I'll take this out of the box. We'll have a look at that. See how it all comes together, assembles. And then uh, I'll show you the functions on there as well. But I'm um, definitely gonna give this a go. Seven pence per hour to run. Yeah, so this is the sort of weather you could look forward to over the winter. It's absolutely miserable out there. Wet, miserable, cold. I'm going to do a, a swap on my tumble dryer. And I'm going to start using the portable heated clothes area with wings. 230 watts. 20 heated bars. Falls flat for easy storage. I can put it away when I don't want it. But I've hit a thing of uh, throughout the winter times uh, using the tumble dryer. Um, the cost of, uh, of the energy bills have gone sky high. I want to make a saving. And like I said, like during the winter months, you can't get clothes out on the line. You know, and what you do is use your tumble dryer. So using your tumble dryer is going to cost you a lot more. I want to try and make a saving this year. All while the energy bills are sky high, hopefully they do come down in time, but I can't see it in the near future. So I'm going to try and make a saving using the portable heat and close area. And like I said, it's uh, seven pence per hour to run, so I'm going to give it a go. We've got the winter months ahead. It's the most costliest time on your energy bills with your gas and your electric. I'm going to try and make a saving in some way, shape or form. So I think the portable here, the closed area, will do exactly that. Okay, so that's the area outside the box. It's all pre-assembled by the looks of it. My eyes went straight to that uh, warning sign there. And all that says is always fold the wings out before switching the area on. Do not use to dry down jackets and quilts. Well, if you've got a lightweight jacket, I can't see why not. What I'll show you next is the area standing up. Easy assemble. Also as well, the, the power button on the side there is, I think it looks like just a switch on, switch off, so that's quite easy. 20 bars in there as well for your heating. Let's have a look at that um, in a standing position. Okay, that's the area in a stand-up position there. All I did was uh, pull the wings back like that, either side, and there's a bar that goes through there. You just push that through, then it just comes upright. Nice and easy. To disassemble it, all you need to do is just push that bar that way. It'll fall up on itself, and it's all closed. Close your wings down. Nice and easy for storage too. To be fair, don't it uh, take up too much room neither. We'll see you want to get some nice, you know, your clothes on there uh, for drying. 
got a switch on at the moment too. And just a red light indicator there that the, the, the unit's on. Nice and easy, switch on, switch off. And also as well, using this uh, air air dryer, the portable heated clothes area. I think within about 10, 15 minutes anyway, this will heat up the room as well, not only your clothes. So you're drying your clothes and you're heating up the room. That will aerate into other rooms as well. So you don't need no radiators on while you're using this unit. The bars come up quite hot as well. Obviously if you've got uh, young children, be careful about all that. It's not actually scalding to the touch, but they're hot enough. But it's only the bars that get heated. None of this framework is uh, heated up. That's off the ground. I'm definitely going to give this a go. It's going to be my tumble uh, dryer swap. Like I said, energy prices are sky high at the moment, so just trying to make a bit of a saving. And I think this is going to be a, a great way of doing that. It's just one idea. I know a lot of people are there buying their air fryers now rather than using their ovens and stuff like that. It's just another way of saving money and um, uh, trying to keep the cost down. It's only a small, uh, short video of this one, but just wanted to share uh, this video with you on what, uh, what I've bought, the portable heated clothes area. And hopefully uh, in time I can save some money and um, hopefully as well someone, can, someone else can too. Yeah, it costs less than seven pence per hour to run. That in itself is a saving, rather than using your tumble dryer. It's that time of year, the weather's not good. It's always wet, miserable, can't get your clothes on the line. You're gonna use a tumble dryer, it's gonna cost you a few quid. The cost of energy now is uh, out the roof. It's gone out the roof. So you gotta try and make a saving. And I think this uh, area, this portable heated clothes area with wings is going to save me a few quid. And that's what it's all about at the end of the day. Save yourself a few quid, think ahead. Definitely going to give this a go. Fifteen kilogram uh, payload on the, on, the, on the load, on the weight. What I would say as well though, you can't use this in bathrooms or nothing like that. Uh, just as a safety measure, we see bathrooms, you've got condensation and uh, damp in, in, in the bathrooms after a shower or bath, so you don't use it in bathrooms. And it says there you can't put uh, jackets on there or clothes on there, but you can put lightweight stuff on there, no problem. Or I will be anyway. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe, turn on notifications and I'll see you in the next one.